Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how you can install Node.js in your local environment. Now what is Node.js? Node.js is a cross-platform open source JavaScript runtime environment that can run on Windows, Linux, Mac OS and more. Now that Node.js runs on the V8 JavaScript engine and executes JavaScript code outside a web browser, then why you need that one? You need to use that if you are creating any of the React application or Next.js application or you are using any of the packages from NPM or from the Yarn. And as you know, in my channel, there's a lots of video regarding that e-commerce and so many other things like portfolio and so much and more. And all the things actually built up on React, which using that Node.js. And if you're creating any of the server outside the browser, you need the Node.js to go to go so it's really very helpful if you're using node.js in 2024 and how actually you can install that you see that node.js.org now from here there will be you'll find that are two versions available for you one is for that uh, the recommended for most users another for the latest features now i will not asking you to do the latest features because it can be having some still having some bug or some other things because it will not give that long time support so it's better to always go with that lts if you are a new user for me i actually loving to use the current one but i'm gonna show you how you can do that the same procedure so first thing first you need to download that one so just give a little bit time to download and after downloading once you open your environment here as you see it's already here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna install that just run that program in your windows and if you're using the mac it will also going through the same setup okay so just click the next of course i want to accept the terms and license agreement okay and now here is the directory you can change the directory if you want but it's always better to keep the default one so click next and also for the custom setup you can go with that so i will just go with the next and automatically install the necessary tools you can feel free to uh, keep that but i will just keep uncheck that one next and installed now it's gonna install all the things to read let the node.js up and running in your uh, local machine okay everything is done so now we have been successfully installed the node.js if you go with your uh, windows control panel or in the command in apps setup you can see the node.js is there but how actually you can check that one better to use that command line and from here there's a simple things to check which going to be node dash dash version if linux node that dash v it will be just fine so now as you see 20.11.0 the same one which we have been installed so now once you are installing node because node.js is using that npm node package manager same like the rust is using that cargo so now we need to check if that npm also installed because by default with node.js it will be available so let's check that npm version dash dash version as you see 10.2.4 so all our latest version is installed so we have the both things node.js and npm also you can actually get the yarn is also a node.js package manager for to do that you can go with that npm install global yarn and it will install the yarn globally so and also the right now the new documentation is up and go so you can feel free to go and enable that one but for all of the react application or node.js applications if you're using that node.js and npm it will be just fine so now you will be able to go set up any kind of react applications because now you will your app your local machine is enabled to start a new project even the same way with that next.js project so you can you can now open up with that so i think it kind kind of helpful to start from that so better always always if you are a beginner use that lts version then go with the current once you are a bit running so i think it can be helpful we'll see you in the next video